today we are releasing uh, video images and uh, video of uh, what we believe is the suspect that was involved in this arson. Um, the video does show uh, the suspect approaching the front entrance and then it shows the fire being lit and the suspect walking away. We need members of the public, members of the community to take a good look at this video, uh, look at this man. If anybody does recognize him, he has a, a certain walk to him, he was wearing a, a white hat. Uh, if anybody recognize him, please call our investigators. I speak to rabbis throughout Canada and especially I've been speaking to a number of rabbis who have experienced other acts of violence, vandalism and anti-Semitism against their buildings. And as I hope the, the broader community can understand, it is a very difficult thing to protect your building 24-7 against someone who would be brazen enough to come with gasoline, a lighter fluid, some kind of accelerant and splash it on your building, which was built in, in 1948, which does have wood in it, which this could be a pile of, of cinders at this point. We are very grateful that it is not, but it, the idea that we are all this vulnerable is something which is very difficult for us as a Jewish community and as rabbis and community leaders to, to deal with.